Okay, initially I'm going to load up Rhino and I'll be working on my top plane. See we have these three in perspective, so go to your top plane. The first command I typed was picture frame. And I'm going to go through and look for a little photo I took just with my phone. It asked me where I want my origin. I put 0, 0. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my scale. So I know that's 2 and a quarter inches. I typed in length. And that shows me the length of the line. So it looks like it's 2.03. I'm going to do my scale factor. 1.108. Select everything. Type in scale. Go to origin point. If you have your snaps on, it should snap there. 1.08 scale factor. Select that line. Type in length. 2.19. I'm close, so I'm going to do a scale factor once again to get it right to two and a quarter. 2.25 divided by 2.19. 1.027. Select it all, scale, click on your point, 1.027, check our line again, 2.25 inches. Okay, now I'm happy with that. So, one of the my favorite commands is the three point circle. Usually, when you're drawing curves or templates, you get close, but when you get it into a CAD system, you realize. Your curve's usually a little off. I'm going to do this for all these because I know they're circles. Three point circle. Select near that edge there. Just kind of fan it out to get my circle situated. This one as well. I'm just doing my circles. I'm not worrying about trying to fit the exact curve because I'll do that with a a tangent line command coming up next. So I typed in line, tangent. So it'll pull tangent. Sometimes you have to pull past the point so the object snap wants to snap to it. I'm going to do another line here, connect those. Uh, another tangent line, start there. I'm having a little trouble with this one, it wants to snap. So I disabled my object snap at the bottom there. One trick you can do is just pull past it, get your line lined up. I'm going to do a two-point curve for this one, two-point circle. Let's see. Turn my object snaps back on. Start there, kind of fan it out, match that curve. So I've got my basically my shape dialed in now. So I typed in the hide command, see where I'm at. I'm going to show that again. I'm going to add a couple tangent circles to connect those ends there. Oops, snap to the middle. Try that again. Tangent circle, tangent, tangent. You can kind of drag it down. That looks good. Same with this end, tangent circle. Snap there, snap there. Yeah, looks pretty good. Hit enter. So now I'm going to hide this and use the trim command quite a bit now. So you have to think of trim needs um, two points to trim a line. Um, I'm actually going to start with this one and this one. Nope, not that one. Deselect it, control click, click that one, get rid of that curve, get rid of that curve. And now I'm just going ahead and trimming this thing up. Don't need that line, that was my scale line. Trim that. Trim that.
starting to look like a real bracket now. Trim out those errors. Looking pretty good. Let's do a show. Pretty close. I'm going to hide this again. Do a fillet command on this kind of sharp curve up here. I did a one inch fillet. Evens it out nicely. So then all you do from there is export it and you've got your reverse engineered bracket. Offset this and add a couple circles in there to remove some material. You can do this mathematically or you can just kind of wing it. it. Just depends. Sometimes your eye works pretty good. One there. Another one there. And then set up a line for a, a mirror command. Select this. Type in mirror. Select my mirror plane. circles, delete my reference marks, they look a little too close together, move those over a bit, just going to free drag this one I think, just trying to get a nice symmetric look to it, and there you have it, show our thing, too close, you can spend more time and get it exactly dialed in, but 